Are you looking to remineralize your reverse osmosis drinking water to boost the pH, add some calcium back into the water for your family? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in six easy steps right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water. This uh, Water Saver 75 reverse osmosis drinking water system does a great job of reducing the mineral content in your water. In fact, it'll reduce 90% of the mineral content um, from your water and it'll get rid of all the chemicals. So it's, it's a great asset. But I've had a number of viewers ask me, yeah, Gary, but I'd like to have a little bit higher pH and I'd also like to have uh, a little bit of calcium bat added back into the water. And that's what this remineralization filter does. And I'm gonna, we put together a kit to add that to this uh, Water Saver 75 and I'm going to show you how to install that kit right now. To make it super easy for you to, uh, to add it to the system and it consists of the uh, all calcite filter, these two brackets to hold it on, these two John Guest type fittings and even some John Guest uh, tubing already pre-cut for the installation. So you're going to start by shutting off the water. So this will be uh, the inlet to the system. So what you do is you turn the, the valve 90 degrees, that shuts off the water. Same with the tank, you'll want to do the same thing. Again, turn the valve 90 degrees to shut it off. And uh, so once it's been shut off, then you're going to want to open the faucet to drain out any water that's in there and to release the pressure in the system. Now you're going to want to put a towel down or something like that because there will be a little bit of water spilling out. Not a lot, but a little bit. So once you finish that, I'll just move this out of the way here. So then you want to disconnect it. So this uses a John Guest type quick connect fittings. So to, you just push the tubing in, hold the collar back and disconnect it. Now, if you'd like, I have a, a great video that shows you how to use these uh, quick connect fittings. I'll put a link in the description down below and in the cards up above that you can access that to check it out if you have any concerns, but they're pretty straightforward. Once you've disconnected it, then you're gonna to wanna to put uh, the fitting in. So you're gonna grab one of these and it's gonna go in here. So you're going to feel some resistance, but keep going and it'll uh, seat itself home. So, and then you're going to want to put the, the fitting in the, in the inlet side of the filter. So if you think of, it says a, it has a flow area here, but if you think of it as an, as an arrowhead, wider end is the inlet, an narrow end is the outlet. Pull out these little stoppers and slide this guy in here. Again, push it home and, uh, and then you can put the tubing in here, slide it in and push it home and on this end all right and then you can put one of these clips on to hold this end another clip for this end so these are clipping right onto the membrane itself and put those two in and then you pull the stopper out of here so now the faucet gets connected over into here slide that in all right so once you've connected that Make sure all the, the connections are tight. Then you open up the water flow going to the system. And same situation with the tank. Open that up. Obviously check for leaks. Once you check for leaks, let the water run. They usually suggest about five gallons or so just to clear the fines from the calcite filter. And then you're good to go. Next, you'll want to click up here to my reverse osmosis drinking water playlist, and I'll see you there. And if you have some questions about this system, just add it to the comments down below. I read all the questions, and I'd love to answer yours.